Hi, my name is Sean Smith. Today we're going to take a quick look at the 2019 Beneteau Oceanus Yacht 62, currently listed for sale in San Diego. Come with me as we take a look and tour the boat. Starting up at the bow, take a look at the beautiful lines of this boat. Aggressive cabin top lines as well as this black band that wraps around the whole transom of the boat. Beautiful lines leading up forward to this stainless steel sprit with electric winch, stainless steel anchor, and spinnaker halyard out there for a code zero or asymmetric spinnaker. Electric Genoa furler with split bow pulpit. Just a sexy boat. Moonshadow has teak decks, black painted aluminum mast, in mast furling main. See three spreaders with spreader lights and outboard shrouds. The boat was ordered with the hard top option, very popular with the opening awning in the center, as well as LED lights and really nice handholds all the way around. Let's take a quick look at the hull shape here. You can see this rigid hard chine, which gives the boat lots of stability, interior volume, and the beam carried all the way back. You can see down in the water, there's one of two rudders, so twin rudders. Really good maneuverability and control when sailing. And it is also really nice, the thrust goes between those two rudders so you don't feel any turbulence at the helm. Boarding the boat is simple. On both sides of the boat there are drop-down boarding ladders as well as a swim platform aft and a passerelle option which you can board right here on the port side. Look at the size of that swim platform. I'll quickly pan across the cockpit. Cockpit cushions are beautiful. You've got beds on both sides of the companionway two C-shaped wraparound uh, cockpit tables, throttles on both helm stations, with B&G chart plotters, bow and stern thruster. Really nice, makes maneuvering the boat quite simple. As well as four electric winches, so primary and secondary winches, which is essentially your cabin top winch you have access to from the helm. So single-handed or short-handed, it's quite easy to operate the Oceanus Yacht 62. This boat includes a Williams jet tender, so really easy to get in and out. This swim platform actually goes negative 15 degrees into the water to create a launching for that dinghy. Let's take a quick look up forward. Easy path up to these forward sunbeds with drink holders, courtesy lighting, speakers, and self-tacking jib hardware. The boat's currently rigged with a Genoa, but you can change that Genoa out for a self-tacking jib. The hardware is already in place. Up forward is a crew cabin that does have its own head, shower, uh, berth, and then access into the chain locker. Let's make our way aft. Beautiful dodger incorporated well into the hard top where your main sheet is safely overhead. Both tables in this boat are electric, so you can bring them up and down to whatever height you'd like and you can fold them out. So you have a good handhold, cup holders, as well as a dining table. Moving forward and into the boat, we've got an elegant companionway staircase, nice handrails on both sides, leading into a stunning salon and galley, which is linear on the starboard side. You have a TV lift central, another electric table, so you can have this in a coffee table or dining table configuration. Gorgeous LED light inside where the compression post for the mast is located. 
beautiful leather upholstery. And then a very nice nav station with a swiveling seat. It can be used as a office, a desk, or proper nav station. Here you have a Scheiber panel, which does monitoring for your uh, power, water, uh, electricity in the boat. Just below you have navigation, instrumentation, lighting, refrigeration, fresh water, bilge pumps. Really simple, uh, labeled very well. VHF radio, inverter, your electric blinds, um, as well as a VHF remote below to take into the cockpit. Nice chart plotter. We'll take a quick look at the galley. So you have front loading and top loading refrigeration. Lots of storage where we have beautiful bowls, plates, glassware. There's an ice maker here. Cutlery drawer. This is the electric stove and oven, which is hidden away nicely. And then check this out, you've got lighting above and a stove um, top fan, as well as more storage, and then a really gorgeous sink here. Beautiful faucet for fresh water and salt. Forward of that is a dishwasher and then water maker control down below. Into the forward cabin, you'll see there's a corridor, which is very nice because that door going into the forward cabin is protected. You can leave the door open and no one can see into your forward cabin. In this corridor is an extra refrigerator as well as a washer dryer. And let's pan across this gorgeous forward master stateroom. Beautiful LED lighting, so you can see storage underneath the bed, as well as hanging lockers on both sides. I love how the air conditioning, USB, and light switches are blended in. So they're black in this cabin since it matches the trim. Got a gorgeous headboard and lots of LED lights and a ton of storage. So you can see these three cabinets, a fourth below, and then additional cabinets here, which is an option from the factory. All three staterooms have their own private head. So in the forward master, you'll see the electric toilet, which can be salt or fresh water. Beautiful countertop and sink bowl, and separate shower here with about seven feet of headroom gorgeous shower head and teak wood trim behind. That's what the teak and holly floors is beautiful. Moving aft, we'll check out, you can see either side of the companionway staircase, there are both cabins. The port side cabin has access to the head as a day head, as well as into the cabin privately, if you'd like to lock this door, can be used as a private head for your guests. Very comfortable berth. The passerelle is located into this section of the boat, but you have storage for luggage, good access back there, as well as separate thermostat for air conditioning, charging, uh, as well as USB ports up there by the light switches. And then there are nice storage cabinets opening ports and a hanging locker here. This boat has the Dometic um, wine cellar, which is really nice to have. The boat has access to the engine room from the starboard cabin, which is unique next to this berth, which also has a nice little seat, hanging locker, and again, another private head, which is gorgeous. This one's got a really nice size shower as well.
Lastly, we'll take a look at the engine room. The Yanmar diesel with the Cummins generator behind, automatic fire suppression, and really easy access to your C strainer right at the front, as well as the uh, fuel filter. For such a large companion of a staircase, it's really easy to get up and down, do those daily checks. It's quite simple. Thank you for joining me on this tour of the Oceanus Yacht 62 Moon Shadow. If you have any questions about the boat, feel free to reach out to me right away, and I look forward to talking to you really soon.